Today, we're going to be balancing the equation of Cu2O plus C, carbon, right? And that will yield us a copper solid, Cu, plus carbon monoxide, CO. I already wrote us our little chart here and the elements that I see on both the left and the right side of the equations. So all we have to do is just write how many we have, and then we'll start balancing. Let's start with the left-hand side. For copper, right, Cu, I have two of these. So I'm going to say that I have two copper. Oxygen, I don't see a subscript next to it, so that means that there's one oxygen. And then the same thing goes for the carbon. I don't see any numbers, right? So that just means that I have one carbon. Coming over to the product side, for all of these, right, I don't see any subscripts. So I have one copper. So one. For the carbon, I have one carbon. And then for the oxygen, I have one oxygen. Let's balance, right? It looks like the only thing we need to balance is the copper. We always turn the lower number into the higher number by multiplication. So one times what will get you two? Yeah, one times two. And the number that you state is the coefficient of the element that you're trying to balance. So I'm going to put a two here. Now, it just makes sense, right? You just kind of double check yourself. This is clearly saying that I have two copper. So I cross off my one. It's a two. And everything is balanced. I have two coppers on both sides. I have one oxygen and I have one carbon. So my equation is balanced. The balanced equation is I have one Cu2O plus one C, right, one carbon. And that will yield two Cu plus one carbon monoxide, one CO. And that's it. Guys, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. As always, I'm always rooting for you guys. Good luck on your tests and quizzes. You guys, you guys rock, all right? Let's keep studying hard. See you later. Bye-bye.